Hello, this is James Headley with the Living in Naples, Florida channel. Thanks so much for joining me for this latest episode. Uh, today I'd like to talk a little bit about the difference between Naples and Marco Island. Uh, so if you've started to narrow your search and you're thinking that Southwest Florida is absolutely the right place for you, now it's about deciding uh, as a first step whether Naples or Marco might be right. Uh, of course, I'd love to help you with this on a personal one-to-one -one level, uh, so do get in touch with me anytime and I'd be happy to, to help to narrow the field a bit uh, and show you the best and uh, maybe not the worst, but the less than best of both places and let you decide what's the most appropriate fit for you. Uh, so thanks again for joining me today. As always, if you like what you see, please do like, uh, subscribe, and share with friends, colleagues, etc. Uh, it's very helpful and I really appreciate it. So without further ado, let me dive into 10 key factors that you should consider when making a decision between whether Naples or Marco is right for you. Uh, first, let's uh, get cost right out of the way. Uh, the latest figures uh, from this past month, from October, uh, the, late, the median listing price in Naples is about $460,000 across all properties. On Marco Island, it's actually significantly more than that at $825,000. So uh, just uh, broadly, you're going to pay a little bit more on Marco than you are in Naples or significantly more in Marco than Naples. Obviously, there's a pretty good range uh, in both places. So if you're on a a budget, uh, there are definitely more options in Naples uh, as far as that goes. That brings us to number two, uh, and certainly related, and that's proximity to the beach or the gulf. And you're going to pay more both places, um, certainly the closer you get to the water, but for the most part, that premium is going to be higher in Naples, uh, and perhaps even significantly higher. Just to give you some numbers, uh, currently 44 homes on the Gulf or beach, uh, beachfront in Marco as of this taping. The median price on those is uh, just under 825000 and that gets you a two bedroom, two bath, about 1,150 square feet. As you go to, that's, that's on Marco again. If you look at Naples, there are 41 such properties available as at the time of taping. Uh, there you get a bigger, a uh, little bigger pl place, um, a 3-3 three, three is the median, three bedroom, three bath, well, just under 2,700 square feet, uh, and the price jumps to 2.75 million there. Uh, those are going to be dominated uh, in Naples by two communities, uh, Park Shore and Pelican Bay, not exclusively, but those are the two areas that you'd be looking at primarily. That brings us to number three, and, and again, closely related. That's waterfront uh, views. Uh, you know, given how much smaller Marco is than Naples and how many fewer properties in general there are there, it might surprise you that there's generally and, and relatively more beach and golf front opportunity in Marco, as you can probably tell from uh, just the last set of figures, uh, as well as the, the map, uh, giving you a sense of where that golf, that golf and beachfront property actually is in both places. So that brings us to number four, and this is really thinking about how you're going to be using your Southwest Florida home. Uh, if you're going to be here for longer stays or if you plan a lot of weekend in and outs, uh, for those of you still working uh, with, with commitments up north, etc., it's not too significant, but the commute from Center Island Marco to uh, RSW, uh, Southwest Florida Re International Airport, is going to be just under an hour. Uh, typically, obviously, that varies time of day, time of year, etc. But you're looking about an hour's at about an hour's commute. If you're traveling from uh, Gray Oaks Country Club, which is not quite, but you know, roughly center of Naples, uh, as far as the population would go, you're you're looking at just over 40 minutes. So you about 20 minutes difference, uh, which again is, is not all that significant unless you're doing this uh, trip a couple of times a month uh, for short weekends or long weekends. Uh, that, extra, that extra time and that extra hassle uh, may just push you a little bit more towards Naples, uh, particularly towards North Naples, getting even a little closer to, uh, to RSW. Related uh, to number four in this case, Will you still be working? Uh, will you be working here in, in Southwest Florida? If you will be, then uh, you really need to think about the commute. There's, while there's certainly 
a fair number of hospitality related industries on Marco and, and government jobs. Generally, you're going to be, and service oriented, uh, you're, you're probably, if working, you're going to be commuting to either uh, an establishment in Naples, a business in uh, Estero or, or Fort Myers. Uh, and if that's the case, then again, you know, basically you're adding on a, a 15 to 20 minute commute each day, uh, depending upon where you're living in, in Marco and or Naples. So that's certainly something to consider. Uh, shifting gears for number six, will you be renting out your property here in Southwest Florida in the short, medium, or, or long term? Uh, if you will be, the, you want to consider some of the limitations on rentals. Uh, in Naples, the, as a general rule, and, and there are big exceptions to this, but as a general rule, you're going to be uh, facing some lease limits in most of the resort retirement communities here. Um, in some cases, you can't rent for anything less than 90 days or in, in other cases, even less than an annual rental. Uh, certainly there are 12 month rentals and, and weekly rentals and the occasional day to day rental. Uh, but those are the exception rather than the rule. Whereas on Marco, the, the rule is more so of a rent it out every single day if you like, uh, 365 one day leases. Um, definitely even as you get into the, the condo complexes there, uh, the majority of those are going to be weekly rentals at a minimum versus monthly rentals. Uh, you do have the latter, uh, and you do have some longer than monthly rental minim minimums on Marco. But again, just speaking more broadly, on Marco you have a, a greater opportunity to rent uh, in the short term. So if you're thinking more of the, a the Airbnb, Verbo uh, route, then Marco may be a better option for you. Or you need to look at, at some very specific areas and very specific developments and communities uh, and neighborhoods within developments in Naples uh, to really hone in on something that might work for you on that front. Moving on to number seven, uh, are you a golfer? Uh, if you're a golfer and you are looking at Marco Island, uh, you're really limited to one 18-hole golf course there, and that's the Island Country Club, which is a wonderful facility, uh, but it's, it's the only game in town. So if you're uh, going to be living on Marco and playing golf and you're not playing at the Island Club, don't, not belonging to a, that country club, but belonging somewhere else, your next closest is going to be over six miles, leaving the island, crossing the bridge, uh, and that, that'll bring you to uh, Hammock Bay. Uh, and then beyond that, you're, you know, you're, you're adding on the miles and adding on the commute to and from. Whereas in Naples, uh, you're really, you can throw a stone from just about anywhere you're living and be within a mile or less, uh, perhaps even in your backyard, as the case may be here, uh, to, a, to a golf course. Uh, so definitely proximity to golf courses and, and convenience of local courses. Naples probably gets the nod there, again, unless you're joining the Island Club on Mark. Number eight, conversely, if you're a boater and if boating is going to be paramount for you, I'd, I'd say let's start on Marco. Uh, you definitely, there are options in Naples, uh, much like we saw with the with the cost and the proximity to the Gulf, etc. You're going to pay a lot more for that uh, that convenience uh, of the the dock in your backyard in Naples. Uh, on Marco, with the in, uh, the very intricate set of canals there, you're going to have an opportunity uh, to find something across a range of prices uh, with you know indirect golf access being uh, being an option for you as a boater so Marco I would say definitely gets the nod uh, for the boaters out there brings us to number nine and and this is uh, you know a little little uh, softer here but but the vibe um, I would characterize Marco as as much more of a beach town feel uh, so for, uh, you know, as a, as a guy who spent a lot of time in the Philly metro area and New York City, uh, you know, Marco is definitely more the Jersey Shore, the, the Delaware beaches, uh, that sort of vibe, uh, whereas Naples would characterize as more of a, of a suburban uh, sort of vibe. I mean, obviously you've got your resort communities, but, uh, but it's, it's definitely got more of that sort of suburban feel versus the, the beach town feel. And that brings us to number 10. And last but not least, 
Are you looking for a, a community rich with amenities, uh, with, with a shared experience with your neighbors, uh, that sort of a, of a vibe? Uh, if that's the case, then, you know, then Naples gets a nod for the, the very same reason that I said before. Uh, you know, that conversely, on number nine, uh, you're, you're going to have many more of those large or small uh, golf course communities, tennis communities, home sites built around amenities and with large amenity centers that tend to be the social hubs. Uh, you get some of that obviously in the condo buildings on Marco, but you just don't have that sort of resort feel as a general rule on Marco. Thank you again. I, I would be happy to work with you to help you to find the right place for you, uh, whether that is in Naples or Marco or beyond. Uh, so do reach out anytime. And again, I appreciate uh, all those subscribes and your shares and look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Thanks so much.